Hi, I'm Dr. Maxim Chumak, and we're here at my practice, uh, here by Dr. Max in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And we continue our discussion regarding uh, different cases of hair restoration. Hair restoration uh, is a very unique process which should be tailored for every patient because we have different types of uh, hair loss, different, might be different causes. And the purpose of those uh, videos is to, uh, to show what um, uh, scenario we can um, help with. It might be a case that is similar to you and might answer some of the questions uh, about how hair restoration works in our clinic and why we do what we do. So um, uh, today uh, we uh, discuss a patient who is 32 years old with significant hair loss to the frontal and um, uh, crown area. When we start with the planning for the procedure, I always ask patient, what area is more important to you? Because that's how we uh, uh, prioritize uh, uh, harvesting and implantation. And um, it is important to uh, really determine where I should pay more attention. Uh, in most of the cases, a frontal area is important because that's what it defined a face and the look crown area um, probably will have a second priority. And also it happened to uh, require more grafts to, um, uh, to cover it adequately. Today we did one of those cases that require a lot of grafts to be harvested, uh, 3,500 grafts. And um, I personally prefer to have 3,500 graft as a maximum that we, uh, we can take in one session. And the reason is because uh, we always want to have something left available for us in the future. Additionally, having too many harvests from the same donor area can cause a lot of problems uh, like uh, uh, telogen effluvium of the donor area because too much damage can cause too many problems. So I, I prefer to be more conservative with the grafts that we, we can harvest in uh, uh, one procedure. Um, so as usual, we started with um, harvesting from the occipital area using a small punch 0.8 millimeter. I always utilize the entire donor area, regardless how big is the procedure. If I do a thousand grafts, I will still use the entire donor area. It helps patient and me um, not to over harvest from, from one particular zone. Uh, with 3,500 grafts, it is important to space uh, harvest attempts evenly. So there is no area that uh, seem to be emptier than, uh, than others. The process of 3,500 grafts will take a little bit longer. Uh, we're looking about uh, uh, three hours or so to, um, to finish uh, with this amount of grafts. Um, once um, we obtained uh, all the uh, plant um, um, amount of grafts, they're carefully processed uh, with microscopes. They, they are kept in a perfect uh, electronically controlled uh, chilling uh, environment uh, to minimize any ischemic injury, anoxic injury, because while they're on sitting to be reimplanted, they don't get any oxygen except of the, the concentration of uh, O2 in the air. So it is important to move as fast as possible and definitely um, uh, how we do every, uh, every procedure. Uh, we took a little lunch break, about 20 minutes uh, to set up the room for implantation and start with our uh, direct graft implantation method. We were able to finish the procedure quick enough to minimize any uh, exposure of grafts to, uh, to anoxic conditions. Uh, typically with direct graft implantation, I have three assistants in the operating room who, who help to load those grafts. We're able to achieve uh, average of 1,000 grafts uh, per hour implantation speed, which is roughly twice than what average traditional method with uh, pre-made sites and forceps can do. Okay, so with any uh, questions regarding uh, our method of uh, hair restoration, 
please don't hesitate to contact us at 954-945-2909. Please visit our website at bringbackhair.com. You should be able to see a lot of uh, videos explaining every uh, step of the procedure or different type of surgical or non-surgical uh, methods of uh, hair treatment and restoration.